Good morning. Let's go ahead and turn our mute button on and that way we can hear our friends when they talk, okay? Thank you very much. And I see Langston over there. Langston, go ahead and unmute yourself. Can you say it? Good morning. Can you say it one more time, Langston? Yes, I want to hear something about giants. Oh, okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Langston. All right, boys. There's a rainbow dragon and a dark dragon. Very cool. Sounds awesome. There's a really good book series all about dragons that kids your age like to read. It's called Dragon Masters. Might be something you'll be interested in pretty soon. All right, I'm gonna call on Miriam. Yes, Miriam, go ahead and unmute Henny. Are we going to be using our dinosaurs today? So you might use your dinosaur as a little bit of inspiration. We're gonna be doing some work with Dazzle today. And then later today, you are gonna have a very special dinosaur writing project. So there's a very special dinosaur project today and you really might wanna have your dinosaur around. If you don't have it, it's okay, so don't worry about it. But this morning we're gonna do some work on Dazzle. And boys and girls, don't worry, I'm not forgetting about your sight word packet. I think we're just going to um, start working on it more consciously next week. This week I decided we are just gonna kind of be reviewing our old sight words and so the sight word packet that we just finished, we're just kind of reviewing and we'll have plenty of time to finish up the new sight word packet because we're technically in the third trimester next week. And what that means is it's just our last, our last chunk of school is just about to start. So that's kind of exciting stuff. We've come a long way. You guys all got so smart. So that's awesome. All right, let's see here. Mahialani has been raising her hand. Yes, Mahialani. Yes, yes, we are gonna do that. I have it right here. I have it, so don't you worry. All right, boys and girls, how about this? Let's go ahead, oh, Ava's raising her hand, and Noah. Okay, let's go Ava. Yes, Ava. And not at my grandma's house. I know, your mom emailed me, she told me. So hopefully your car gets fixed pretty soon, but I'm glad to see you and yeah. your cute mask. Sounds... Okay, thank you. Have white paper. Okay. It... And those have me looking right here. Okay, that's, that. it's all good, honey. It's all good. We always make everything work. So don't you worry, okay? You look good. All right, all right, Noah, go ahead and unmute, honey. Oh, you do? Is it a special dinosaur? Will you tell us now? Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. That is a good one. And we have Dilophosaurus on our D list. You told us that one. So that is an excellent D word. He's looking. He's thinking maybe there's another D word. I'll show you, Noah. I'll show you in just a minute. Don't worry. I'll show you. We'll go over our D list in just a minute, okay? Yes, Ko. Go ahead and unmute, honey. What's Dragon Masters? Oh, it's a series. It's a book series. It's a really good one, and it's a book series that a lot of kids your age really like to read. It's from the Branches books. The Branches books are really good. I can I can message you out the details if you want. I like the um, Branches book. I have like a lot of them. Good. Um, there's even Acorn. Yes, Acorn and Branches are great books. They're great first chapter books. So yeah, definitely right up your alley. 
I bet you'll also, love it. Um, there's also one that has some dragons in it. Mm-hmm. It's called Unicorn Rescue Society. Sound, yes, yes, sounds really good. All right, let me talk to Arjun and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Yes, Arjun. Hi, Ali. Do you want food? Which I was trying to say all day. Okay, Arjun, how about this? Let's get started and then I'll pull the D list over and then you can tell us, okay? Sound good? Okay. All right, we are going to get ready to sing our vowel song. We've been working so hard on learning about all of our vowels. So I want you to get up, be in a cozy spot where you can dance and sing along, and let's get started now. today on our letter D words and we've been working on letter D all week. So boys and girls, before I pull our D list over and we add our last couple of words, let's go ahead and sing our D song. Now remember, when we make our lowercase D, we work really hard to make a C first. We make the C and turn it into a D. So let's go ahead and sing our D song together. So get your skywriter high up in the sky. Xerxes, get your skywriter up and sing with me, buddy, okay? Here we go, ready? D says duh, make your C. D says duh, D says duh, and D says duh, duh. And I'll show you what we have on our D list so far. We have a really good D list. Let me raise it up, it's kinda low. There we go. All right, so let me show you here on our D list. We've got Dominic, super important. Dilophosaurus, thank you for that great one, Noah. Dinosaur, David, another important friend of ours. Dragon, 
Dazzle, of course. We've got Dictionary, Diamond, Divide, and Dog. All right, so I told our June he was gonna tell us his D word. Our June, go ahead and unmute yourself, honey. Dynamicus. Dynamicus. All right. I'm wondering, do you know how to spell Dynamicus? He's like, I think so. You do. All right. Let's get some some letters up here. But let's tell everybody what does Dynamicus mean. What is what is Dynamicus? A dinosaur. It is a type of dinosaur. Now, let me ask you, mm -hmm. is it a dinosaur that walks on two legs or four legs? Two legs. It walks on two legs. And dinosaurs that walk on two legs, do they eat meat or plants? Meat. That's right. So Deinonychus is a dinosaur that walks on two legs and eats meat. All right, so let's try to get Deinonychus up here. And I might stop, I might wanna check a couple letters before I finish it up. But we know it starts with D. What comes next, Arjun? D I. That's right. After the I comes what? N. That's right. Dynon. Non. Uh, I think it's you. Okay. All right. This is the one Mrs. Lai is probably going to check. Dynana cuss. Uh. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a C or K. Okay, how about this? I'm gonna check for the spelling of Deinonychus. And I'm gonna get it up here correctly, but I love the word that was perfect, Arjun. Thank you. I'm gonna check the spelling of Deinonychus. No one might be able to help us out with that one too. Thank you, Arjun. All right, all right, we do. We have one more space for a D word up here. And I know we've got lots of friends with D words. I'm super happy to see Aaron here this morning. Aaron, will you go ahead and unmute yourself and give us your D word? Is donkey donkey donkey? Donkey, excellent. All right, what letter does donkey begin with, Aaron? E. A D. That's that's right. As a matter of fact, why am I using this color? I, I guess I used green at the bottom. All right. So, boys and girls, this is a word that we can sound out together. Will you clap donkey with me? Let's clap it together. Ready? Donkey. Let's count those syllables. Ready? Donkey. Donkey has two syllables in it. So let's sound it out together. To sound it out, we get our hand up to our mouth. Let's stretch it. Ready? Da -a octopus. I hear the O. Here we go. Let's say it again. Don. There is an N. Donkey. That one is a K, that one is a K. So let's see what comes last. Donkey, and we hear the long E sound and I'm gonna tell you a secret. It's an E and then it's a Y. D-O-N-K-E-Y, donkey. I think donkeys are often brown. I'm doing my best to draw a donkey. All right, there's my donkey. That is a great D list. Now, boys and girls, we are simply out of space right here, but that doesn't mean that's the end of D words. There are so many D words. So tomorrow, when we have our special activity where we're writing our favorite D words, is it okay for you to add your own D words to your list? Absolutely, absolutely. If you say, hey, I have a D word, it didn't get on the list for my class, I can add it now on my own list because you know Mrs. Lai is gonna look at it and I'm gonna be super proud of you for adding your own D words to your D word list tomorrow, okay? Because I check all your work. I love to see all that great work that you do. All right, so let's keep the rest of those D words in our very smart brain right now. 
And we do have something special we are going to be working on today. So I asked you to bring to bring your packet for today. I already completed the first page because I recorded the video, but your packet for today, the second page is really special, okay? The second page is all about Dazzle the Dinosaur. Now, we have been reading and talking about Dazzle the Dinosaur this week, and we know all about Dazzle. Now, we also know what Dazzle and Maya, his best friend, did together. And yes, that's another spy. I told you you have a special dinosaur activity, Avery. You found it. Yes, Skylar. I don't have that. Okay, so you have, you, it's your Thursday packet. It's in your folder, honey. So when you take it out, you're gonna see your Ed picture book. Mine is completed, yours doesn't have pictures on it yet. So take this packet out, it's your second page. Okay, Skylar, so just take out your packet for today and it's your second page. So just look inside your folder, sweetie. It's there. All right, boys and girls. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the projector here because we're gonna talk about Dazzle. Now I do wanna tell you, I, um, I lent the book that we've been reading, I lent it to Mrs. Kawabata next door because she wanted to read it to her class because it's such a good book and they do a lot of the same things we do. So she has the book, but I have some Dazzle pictures. So we're gonna be talking about some of our favorite parts today and I have some pictures of some things like here's Dazzle and Maya, they're flying on that um, Quetzalcoatlus and here they are, they're out, they're taking an adventure. And oh my goodness, there's Maya and the Dragonosaurus. We know about all of this stuff. All right, so boys and girls, as soon as you find your page, you can go ahead and write your name on the top of it. And let me see here, I'm gonna ask Morgan, is there a chance you can turn your camera on, sweetie, so we can see you? Thanks, there you are. All right. So boys and girls, right here at the top, I'm gonna go ahead and write my name. Great idea to write your first name and your last name right there. And I'll give everybody just a moment. Some of us were pulling out that page and that's A-OK, -okay. perfect, Avery, thank you. Perfect, perfect. Yes, Skylar? You're not finding it? Okay, so Skylar, there's a packet and it has this dinosaur inside. Did you find this dinosaur? Look for this dinosaur, because if you find this dinosaur, you're gonna find the page we're on. This dinosaur is connected to our Dazzle page. Yep, Vivon has it. Yep, that's the one, that's the one, Avery. You got it. It's just connected. It's connected right here. All right. Yep, and it has that inside of it too. I've already just started working on mine. That's why mine looks the way it does. Yep, that's the one, Miriam. You found it. Yep. It's got this cute dinosaur. We do have a special activity to do today. You found it. Turn to the second page, Skylar. That's the one. You got it. That's the one. All right, write your name on the top. All right, boys and girls. The very first thing, Morgan, you still at Auntie's house, Morgan? You want to go ahead and unmute, Henny? So I'm still at my Auntie's house. Mm -hmm. And my mom's still sick. Okay. And I don't know if I can find that page, but can you wait because I'm going, I am need to go get my folder. Yeah, go get your folder, Morgan. We're not going too fast here, honey. Go get it. 
All right, boys and girls. So the very first thing we're gonna start thinking about, and we know the story of Dazzle the Dinosaur, I want you to think about your favorite part of that story. So maybe your favorite part was when Dazzle and Maya fell asleep next to the Apatosaurus's leg. Maybe your favorite part was when Maya went into the cave of the Dragonosaurus. Maybe your favorite part was when Maya and Dazzle decided to go on an adventure together. Maybe your favorite part was when Dazzle and Maya met the T-Rex. Oh, that was good, that was good. Maybe your favorite part was when they were born, right? When they hatched out of the egg and all the Mayasauruses were around because they wanted to see what was going to hatch out of that beautiful, dazzling egg. Maybe your favorite part was when they got to fly together. There were people around, people around, there were dinosaurs around that were helping out Maya and Dazzle. So I want you thinking right now about what was your favorite part of Dazzle the Dinosaur. And we're going to be writing it right here. It says, I liked when, and you can use two really important words. So you might say, I liked when you don't, you got it, good job. Good job, Morgan. Thank you, honey, thanks for looking. So you might say, I liked when Dazzle and Maya met the T-Rex, or I liked when Dazzle and Maya were born or hatched out of their eggs, or I liked when Dazzle and Maya were safe with their family. So you are going to think about your favorite part of the story right now. And we're gonna have a few friends share their favorite part of the story. And when you share your favorite part of the story, you're gonna start with a good story starter. I liked when, I liked when. So I'm gonna call on Avery. Let's listen to Avery. She's gonna share her favorite part of the story. Yes, Avery. Ma. Excellent. Wasn't that sweet? I loved that too. All right. Another favorite part from Miriam. Miriam, what was your favorite part? Um, I like when they met the T-Rex, but I have trouble spelling today. I haven't um, even started the writing, so you don't even need to worry about the writing. I'm going to get started and help you. I'm going to help you especially spell Dazzle and Maya. Okay, so I had you bring this so we could work on it together. So don't worry about the spelling yet, okay? We're just sharing some favorite parts. So I'm gonna call on Skylar. Skylar, go ahead and unmute and tell us your favorite part. Um, my favorite part is um, when Oh, I don't know why we can't hear you, honey. Will you talk a little bit louder? We just couldn't hear that part, Skylar. Um, I like Maya and um, when, when, when Maya, um, Dazzle? Great one, great one. That was a great part. All right, I see another hand. Uh, Mahialani, tell us your favorite part. My favorite part is when Maya and Dazzle went to an adventure. That was so great, wasn't it? Wonderful. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start writing it in just a moment. Don't worry about writing yet. I'm gonna help you, okay? Samira, go ahead and share your favorite part. 
Okay, I'm going to help you with the writing. Remember I said you don't need to worry about the writing yet. We're just listening to our friends share their favorite part. So why don't you tell us your favorite part? Okay. I only love dragon. So um, I like when Lion Dazzle scared the Dragonosaurus. Yes, that was wonderful. So, so, they, so they can stay in their cave again. They did. They did, didn't they? Even though they didn't listen to their parents, they did help their family. So their intentions were good, even though they didn't listen. Morgan, share your favorite part. My favorite part um, when um, the shiny dinosaur shined the sunlight at the dragon because that dragon needs to taste his own <laughs> That's right. You got it. All right. Good one, Morgan. All right, Noah, go ahead and unmute. Tell us your favorite part of Dazzle. When Basil and Maya were sleeping in a brachiosaurus. Ah, very nice. That was nice, wasn't it? Luckily, he was friendly. Okay, I see some other friends holding their hands up. Let's stop for just a moment. Keep your favorite part in your smart brain. We'll have more time to talk about Dazzle the dinosaur in a moment. Let's just get started with the writing of our favorite part, okay? So we are going to be writing our favorite part right here. My big head's in the way, so let me move this a little bit. And it already says, I liked when. So you don't need to write those words again. Use the words that are already here. Now I'm going to write the names Dazzle and Maya. I liked when Dazzle, Dazzle is a nice capital D-A-Z-Z-L-E, Dazzle. Dazzle and now I'm not gonna squish it. I'm just gonna go down to my next line and write Maya. And Maya for this book is M-A-I-A. -A. Maya is a Mayasaurus. I liked when Dazzle and Maya and then you can finish your sentence with what your favorite part was. So you might finish it by saying, I liked when Dazzle and Maya met the T-Rex, or I liked when Dazzle and Maya scared away the Dragonosaurus, or I liked when Dazzle and Maya flew on the Quetzalcoatlus. But I am here to help you spell and sound out. So for those of you that are wanting help spelling, just please be patient with me. I can only talk to one friend at a time and listen to what we're saying because what I'm talking to your friend about might actually help you. So go ahead, Morgan, what is your question? So I need your help. Well, I thought um, the the, the dinosaur goes like at the front book. Okay. But I need to help um, spelling shine. Wait. Okay, so shine starts with what two letters? What two letters say sh? S-H? Yes, S-H. And then I want you to sound it out because you can hear the long vowel sound after that S-H. Uh-oh, we're frozen. There we go. All right, and I want boys and girls sounding out as they're writing, and it's okay that you're sounding out as you're writing. Remember, this isn't perfection, it is practice. And we really liked this story. So I want you to do your best with your writing. I'm gonna call on my friend Mahialani, yes, Mahialani, and then Samira.
Okay, so are you gonna write, I liked when Dazzle and Maya went on, yeah. went. So Mahialani, have you already written Dazzle and Maya? Have you already written that on your page? Yes. Okay. Okay. Dazzle and Maya went. So what's the first sound in wah, wah, wah? W. You got it. All right, what comes after the W? Say it slow, stretch it out. We -e elephant. E. You got it. When. N. You got it. Okay, hey, what's the last sound in when? You got it. Good, okay. So Dazzle and Maya went. You got a ne the next word. What's your next word, Mahilani? Went on. Yes, on. That's what you need to write. So I want you to sound out on. I'm gonna go talk to another friend because we have lots of friends raising their hand right now. Samira, go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay, can we illustrate here? Yes. So boys and girls, there is a box down here. And the box is for you to draw your picture. So as soon as you're done writing your favorite part, yes, your job is absolutely to draw your favorite part. Yes. Thank you, Samira. Let me call on Vivan. Yes, Vivan. Can I tell you my sentence? Yes. I like when Dazzle and Maya were born. Beautiful, yeah. excellent. You can draw a great picture to match that sentence. Great. Yeah. I like that part too. I think I liked all the parts, but I like that part. Yes, Avery. Avery, Henry, Kimberly, Henry, 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 sentence. Yes. Excellent, excellent. And now you can start illustrating. That is perfect, beautiful. Yes, Skylar. Can you help me spell dragon and forest? Okay, that's a big one, okay. So it's got a lot of, of syllables. As a matter of fact, we can even count them. Dragonosaurus, dragonosaurus five syllables. So there's a lot of parts to that word. So we're gonna break it down to make it easy, okay? What's the first letter? J. Well, I'm gonna tell you a secret. Sometimes it sounds like a J, but listen carefully when I say it. D, d, dr, dr, d, d. It's, it is a D and it's a blend. So sometimes blends like DR sound like a J, it happens but it's a DR blend. So drag, drag on. So I want you to sound out drag on. And that's the beginning part. Let me answer, um, while you sound out drag on, let me talk to my friend Morgan. Morgan, go ahead and unmute Henny. Beautiful Mahialani. So do we get to draw the picture like the page? Yes, absolutely, honey. So there's a box down here. After you write your sentence about your favorite part, you get to draw a picture of your favorite part. You bet. And Mahialani, are you writing adventure? Ad. -d. It is, it is, it is a V. Ad, ad, vent, v. It is a V like, ve, like Valentine. V, 
and not say it slow. The elephant. The elephant. And my ear. Yeah. Advent. And Skylar, dragon, a, uh, a, uh, saurus. You can keep sounding out that word. Dragon, a, uh, saurus, ad. Now, Mahilani, adventure. Now, this one is the tricky part, the chur part. What is it? What could it sound like? Adventure. Advent. Advent. You got it. Adventure. -er. Uh. You got it. You did it. Beautiful work. What is a uh, uh. Uh, uh? Yeah, you got it. Adventure. All right, let me look at friends who are raising their hand because you did it. I see Ava's raising your hand. Yes, Ava. Can I can you write something? Yes. My, I like when Dazzle and Naya was born of the edge. Beautiful, beautiful. And when you get home and find your um, paper, you can illustrate, you can start drawing now. That's totally fine. Oh, beautiful, excellent work. Yes, you did it, excellent job, love it. Good work. And I wanna see Dominic. Dominic, are you done with your writing? Okay, are you done with your illustration? Why don't you start drawing your picture and add some colorful details? The nice thing about Dazzle and Maya, it's a really colorful book, isn't it? And boy, oh boy, Dazzle Spines, they're amazing. So add some great details. This is a time for you to get really creative. Yes, Avery? I see. Absolutely. Beautiful. I like it. I like it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let me call on Arjun and then we're gonna get, get on to the last part of this writing here. Can I show you my sentence and can I tell you my sentence and show you my illustration? Yes. That I like one dazzle and my flew together. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so boys, it beautiful. Excellent job. So boys and girls, I know some of you wanna share your writing. Hold that thought, we're not quite done. I'm not gonna tell you to stop yet, but I do want us to take a look at the bottom together for a moment. So I'm just gonna ask you to hold on. We're still working on the same page. We're still working on the same page. We're going down to the bottom because yesterday this was something that we talked a lot about. Erin, we're not done with it, so don't worry. I'll come back to you, honey, I promise. Okay, so yesterday we talked a lot about the author's message. Oftentimes, authors write books because they really want to teach us something. So what is it that this author, Marcus Pfister, who writes wonderful books, wanted us to learn from Dazzle and Maya. What did he want us to learn from Dazzle and Maya, Samira? Not to go far from your parents without their permission. Okay, okay, definitely. Mahilani, what did Dazzle and Maya want us to learn um, from this story? Yeah, talk to your parents. And I hear the same thing from both of you. Skylar, what did Dazzle and Maya want us to learn? Um, that you can go back 
Do you want to think about it for a moment? Okay, okay. What is the good part about it? Because Dazzle and Maya weren't bad, were they? They were good friends and they, and they wanted to be helpful, but what did they need to do? They needed to listen to who? Who did they need to listen to? Yeah, they needed to listen to their mom. Their mom wanted them to be safe. Mm-hmm. I have a sharpener, but I need to sharpen it. Okay, looks like you're handling your job. That looks pretty good. All right, boys and girls. So, so together, together, we are going to write what's the author's message. What did the author teach me? The author wants me to listen to my parents. So that's what we're going to write. Listen, listen to my, listen to my, let me make this a little bit bigger, too small. This is like, listen to my parents. Listen to my parents. They want to keep me safe. Parent, parents, listen to my parents. That's what this author wants me to do. Listen to my parents. Hang on just one second. We're going to get everybody an opportunity to finish this writing and then we're going to go back to the previous um, writing we were doing. So you can go back to finishing your writing above, finish, finishing your illustration as soon as you're done with this section, okay? Yes, Sasha. Can I show you my... Can I share you what I liked about the story? Yes. I liked when Dazzle and Maya went to the cave and my illustration is like that. So oh. here's Dazzle, here's Maya, and here's the scary dragon. Very, very nice. I love it. Great work. Let me let me call on Samira. To my kids. Good, good. Samira. Just a moment. All right, then I might see if somebody else is ready. Beautiful, thank you for sharing your illustrations with me, your writing with me. Yes, Miriam? Can I show you something? Uh-huh. Very very nice dinosaurs. I love it, Miriam. And also over here, it's like chomping and chomping three times. Nice. Good work. Good work. All right, boys and girls, we are just about done. So I want to say two quick things real quick. Um, I would love to stay with Skylar, Mahilani, and Morgan for just a few minutes. And we have reading group today, K.O., Avery, Arjun, Vivan, and Xerxes at 10 o'clock. So I'll see those friends at 10 o'clock today. Now we're excited to be back to reading groups. We've been having fun in reading groups. So we'll be back to that today. If you're done, you can say goodbye. Mahilani, Skyler, and Morgan, just stick around with me and then I can continue to talk to friends, okay? So if you wanna talk to me, just stick around. I see you, Sreshta, you're gonna be next, my dear. Okay, Sreshta, go ahead and unmute, Penny. I'm Can you show me the picture again? Which, which picture, Sreshta? Bye.
picture because I'm gonna paint it. Because I'm gonna use glitter glue and the blue paint. Okay, so I'm going to show you a picture of Dazzle, but I don't have the color picture because it's in the book and I lent the book to Mrs. Kawabata. I have the same color. Good, good. Good, good. So that looks perfect. So here's the picture. There's Dazzle. There's a little Dazzle right there. So you can definitely use that. And I'm going to call on Erin. Yes, Erin. I'm going to read you my story. All right, let's hear it. When they were babies, they hatched out of their egg. And they were brand new. Yeah. Bye, Erin. All right, I see some hands up. Let me call on Skylar. Yes, Skylar. Okay, tell me again what you're spelling. You're spelling Dragonosaurus? Yeah. Okay, how far have you gotten? What did you spell so far? What did you, what did you write on your paper? Tell me where you are and then I'll, I can pick up from there. So have you written this part yet? Listen to my parents. Okay, so I'll stay out of the way so you can copy that, okay? Listen to my parents. That's important for me to do, okay? Okay, I'm gonna stay out of the way. I don't wanna block it. So I'll scoot over a little bit so you can copy it. Let me call on Samira. Yes, Samira? I'll help, you, I'll help you with that in just a moment, but why don't you copy the bottom part first, Skylar, and then we'll fix the top. We'll finish the top. Yes, Samira. Can I show you my picture? Yes, absolutely. Nice, beautiful artwork. I love the colors. Great job. I use markers. I love it. Fantastic. Okay, bye, Mrs. Lutz. See you at math time. See you at math time. Let me call on Mahilani. Yes, Mahilani. Very nice, I love it. Excellent work, Mahilani. Thank you, stick around with me for just a little while, okay, sweetie? Let me call on Morgan. Yes, Morgan. Um, Mrs. Slide, do we leave now? Well, can you stay with me for just a little bit and we're gonna do a little practice real quick? Just kind of like the practice we did yesterday, okay? Because you are okay. learning good stuff. All right, yes, Noah. All right. Whoa, is that the, so many different characters and things. Beautiful, very cool. You're a lucky guy, Noah. Lots of people love you, don't they? That is awesome. Bye, Noah. See you at math time. All right, very quickly, Sasha, and then I'm going to get back to my small group of kids and we're going to work on a few things. I like Noah because he knows a lot of dinosaurs and he knows and I don't know any dinosaurs. 
Ah, yes, he does. You're absolutely right. It's nice when we can learn from our friend, isn't it? All right, so I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna stay with Morgan and Mahialani and Skylar. Skylar, what are you working on right now? Tell me the word that you're on, honey. You're on the D, so Dragonosaurus. D -der. Did you write the D and then the next sound? Der -er. Yeah, you got it. Okay, Skylar. And what comes after the R? Der apple. Dra yep, yeah, and say it slow with me. What comes next? Say it slow. Drag. You got it. Drag on. Now it's literally sight word on. How do you spell on? Yep, yeah, you got it. Dragon. Okay, say it slow with me. Dragon. Uh, uh. You got it. Just one moment, Morgan. We're almost there, honey. Dragon. Uh. Now we're going to write the last part of the word, Skylar. The last part of the word is Saurus. So, the last part starts with this sound. S S yeah. Soar. Soar. Mm-hmm. Soar us. Us. Soar us. You got it. You did it. What do you need at the end of the of the sentence? All right. Now that you're done with that, can I get your eyes up here for just a moment? You, Mahilani, and Morgan. Morgan, we're ready to get started, honey. You over there? Hopefully Morgan comes back. Okay, we're just gonna take a look at a few. There she is. Let's take a look at this word. What does it say? And that's the way. Let's say it again and read it again and spell and a n d and all right let's do another one what does this say first sound morgan what's the first sound honey h says had read it again had spell had h a g had that's right what's this word me what we rhymes with me, but it's a W word. We read it again. We spell we. How do you spell we? W E we. One more time. W E we. Hey, Mrs. Lauren. W W is in my name. Yes, it is. You're absolutely right. What's this word? You says. You got it. Spell up. U P, -P up. up. And what about this word? What does it say? We know the first sound. The first sound. Always make the first sound. Was. Read it again. Was. Spell was. Let's spell it. W A S was. All right. Let's do that. We're going to do those again really quickly. Okay, Mahialani, are you ready? We're going to be fast. Let's read them fast. Here we go, Skylar. Ready? And look at the first letter. <sighs> Had. Good. Mahialani, you are fast. What's this one? We. What about this one? Up. Read it again. Up. 
What about this one? Was, read it again. Was. Was, Morgan, what's this word, honey? Was. Was, make sure you're saying it with us. Okay, we're gonna do it again really fast, okay? Here we go, ready? Make sure you're saying it. Skylar, look right over here, honey. Make sure you're saying it. What does it say? And, and, make the first sound. Had, what does it say? Had, and what about this one? You're right, what does it say? We, make the first sound, always make the first sound, Morgan. W says, we. Good, and what is this one? Up, read it again, up. And how about this one? Was, read it again, was. All right, I've got, I've got a few more for you girls. All right, take a look right here. Let's sound it out. What does it say? B says bus. Look at that, bus. All right, I've got another one, you ready? Here we go, here we go. B says bug. Make all the sounds. Bug. Bug. And I've got another one. Here we go. B says ba. Bun. Look at that. A bun. You got it. All right. Let's do one more. One more. You girls are doing great. S says six. What does it say? Six. There it is right there. That's how old you are, Morgan. That's an important one. It is. Okay, what about this one? Sit. 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 Look. Sit. Yeah, let's try one more. One more. All right, here we go. Ready? What's the first sound? Right here. Sit. Sit. 